Hello there, Nareg is here. Today we're gonna talk one more time about trigonometric formulas, but in this case we will be uh, talking about how to transform the sum into product or the product into sum. So let's start, but before we um, get into the formulas, I'm gonna simply remind you from the previous videos where I was t talking about the addition and subtraction of angles, um, we mentioned about the new formulas cosine of a plus b cosine of a minus b. We're going to use them again in this case. So uh, let's start uh, first with cosine. We have cosine of a plus b is actually equal to cosine a times cosine b minus sine a times sine b. As for cosine of a minus b, so cosine of a minus b is equal to cosine a times cosine b plus sine a times sine b. Whenever I'm going to add these two lines, so I'm interested in adding these two lines, I will simply obtain cosine a plus b plus cosine of a minus b is equal to 2 times cosine a times cosine b. As for the second part, sine a and sine b, um, I will, I will, they will cancel out. So the formula will be cosine a times cosine b is actually equal to 1 over 2 cosine a plus b plus cosine a minus b. Now what about the second part where I'm going to subtract these previous two lines. So whenever I'm going to subtract them, I will have cosine of a plus b minus cosine of a minus b is equal to cosine a cosine b minus cosine a cosine b, they will cancel out. So whatever remains is minus 2 times sine a sine b. So I will obtain the formula sine a times sine b is equal to minus 1 over 2 cosine a plus b minus cosine a minus b. So, as you can see, I was able to convert the product into sum. With these formulas, I'm being able to convert the product into sum. Now, what about sine? So, again, I'm going to remind you about sine of a plus b is equal to sine a cosine b plus cosine a times sine b. As for sine of a minus b is equal to sine a times cosine b minus cosine a sine b. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Um, so whenever I'm going to add these two lines, I will obtain sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b is actually equal to 2 times sine a cosine b. So the formula will be sine a times sine b is equal to 1 over 2 sine 
a plus b plus sine a minus b. So here we have, again, the formula where I was able to convert the product into sum. Now, what about the difference between the first two lines? So whenever I'm going to do the difference, I will obtain sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b is equal to, it will be uh, sine a cosine b minus sine a cosine b, they will cancel out, so I will obtain 2 times cosine a times sine b. So the formula will be cosine a times sine b is equal to 1 over 2 sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b. So this is how you get your final formula. All right, so let's uh, take an example directly. Um, what about the example? So we have, in this case, um, let's say they gave us to calculate cosine of 7 pi over 12 times cosine of 5 pi over 12. So it's the same thing as, it's the same thing as cosine a times cosine b. So whenever you have cosine a times cosine b, the formula is 1 over 2 cosine a plus b plus cosine of a minus b. So you're going to use this, simply this formula. I'm going to uh, do it here. So it's equal to 1 over 2 cosine of 7 pi over 12 plus 5 pi over 12 plus cosine of 7 pi over 12 minus 5 pi over 12. So it's equal to 1 over 2 times cosine of pi plus cosine of pi over 6. So it's equal to 1 over 2 times minus 1 plus cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. So I will have minus 1 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 4. The final result will be minus 2 plus square root of 3 over 4. So this is the value of cosine 7 pi over 12 times cosine 5 pi over 12. <clears throat> now, how do we transform um, the sum into product? So, let's start. In this case, we will have to say, we're going to use again the previous formulas. We just have to say that um, let a plus b equal to, equal to p and a minus b is equal to q. So from this I can deduce that a will be p plus q over 2. You simply have to add. Whenever you're going to add them to or both of them you're going to obtain 2a is equal to p plus q, so a is equal to p plus q over 2. And b will be equal to p minus q over 2. So let's say I'm going to use the formula uh, where I had, um, let's start, all right, sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b, which gives me 2 times sine a times cosine b. All right? Instead of using this, you can simply write down that it's 
sine of p plus sine of q which will which will be equal to two times sine of p plus q over two times cosine of p minus q over two now you can do the same thing for the previous formulas whatever the previous formulas that we already mentioned above so sine a times sine b one over two is equal to one over two sine uh, a plus b plus sine a minus b you're gonna simply uh, replace a plus b by uh, pi a minus b by q and a you're gonna replace it by p plus q over two b by p minus q over two whenever you're gonna do this you're gonna obtain the formulas where you can transform your sum into product so I'm gonna tell you what are the what are the formulas uh, this is the first one the second one whenever we have sine of pi sine of p minus sine q it will be equal to two times cosine of p plus q over two times sine of p minus q over two now what about cosine of p plus cosine of q it will be equal to two times cosine of p plus q over two times cosine of p minus q over two and finally cosine of p minus cosine of q is equal to minus two times sine of p plus q over two times sine p minus q over two all right these are the, the the formulas that you can use them in order to transform your sum into product so i have sum or subtraction and i'm transforming them into product um, let's take an example so i will take an example directly how are we supposed to transform for example um, cosine of 3 cosine x plus cosine 3x plus cosine 5x plus cosine 7x so we have to transform this sum into product so let's start I will simply say that I'm going to use cosine x plus cosine 4x um, it's cosine p plus cosine q so you're going to use this formula cosine p, p plus cosine q you're going to use this formula so you will obtain um, two times cosine of x plus 3x over 2 times cosine of x minus 3x over 2 plus so this was for this sum uh, what about the second one again I'm going to use the same formula two times cosine of 5x plus 7x over 2 times cosine of 5x minus 7x over 2 is equal to 2 times cosine of 4x over 2 it's 2x times cosine of minus 2x over 2 it's minus x plus 2 times um, cosine of 12 x over 2 it's cosine of 6x times cosine of uh, again minus x as you can see I have cosine of minus x which is the same thing as cosine minus alpha cosine of minus alpha is simply cosine alpha it's uh, it belongs to the fourth quadrant etc 
So I can say it's equal to 2 times cosine 2x times cosine x plus 2 times cosine 6x times cosine x. Now in this case, I'm going to choose 2 cosine x as common factor. As you can see, um, I will have cosine 2x plus cosine 6x. In this case, again, it's cosine p plus cosine q. So I can use the formula one more time. It will be 2 times cosine x times 2 cosine 2x plus 6x over 2 it's 8x over 2 it's 4x times cosine 2x minus 6x it's minus 4x over 2 it's minus 2x minus 2x all right so finally i will obtain is equal to 4 times cosine x times cosine 2x times cosine 4x. As you can see, um, cosine of minus 2x is equal to cosine 2x. Simply, I'm using cosine minus alpha is equal to cosine alpha. So this is your final result. And this is how I was able to transform the uh, sum into product. All right. Um, that's all for this video. Uh, this was the video where we explained about uh, how to transform the trigonometric formulas from sum to product or to, from product to sum. And of course, so we all already took some examples there. We, we, and I think these examples are, are going to be helpful to you. That's all for today. Um, why don't you subscribe to my channel? Uh, you'll be notified whenever I, I upload new videos. I can also share with you my Instagram and Facebook account and uh, hope to see you next time.